I am a 32-year-old man, and it is only because of age and experience that I can tell you what it feels like to be stung by a bee, and it's awful. It's the worst. I watched Macaulay Culkin die from bee stings. Okay, guys, bee stings are serious. It was the movie My Girl, but still, it was sad. I cried. There was a mood ring, if I remember the movie correctly, and bees killed Macaulay Culkin. Also, there's Swarm, which is a comic book supervillain Nazi made of bees. A Nazi made of bees. In case you were wondering how bad bees are, that's where they tied together, was bees and Nazis. Also, Nicolas Cage said it best when he said, No, not the bees! Not the bees! But again, I know these things because I've lived through them. Imagine if you saw a bee and had no context to what it was, no idea what it was or what it was capable of. Bees are furry and colorful and bright, and they hang around pretty flowers all day, and they can fly. Can you fly? No, you can't fly. That makes you more boring than a bee. Bees are awesome if you forget about the part where they stab you. So when my daughter, who's not even two years old, saw one on the weekend, she, like I'm sure any of us, without proper social engineering and fear-mongering would do, went to go check it out. The bee flew up into her grill, which would be my cue to pee myself and run away. But for her, she thought this was really a cool thing that was happening and tried to grab it with all of the grace that you would expect a toddler to try and grab a flying furry bee. Needless to say that in that bee's final moments of panic, watching a hand swatting towards it, that bee chose to sting my daughter right in the face. Imagine that. You see something. It's cute. It's interesting, furry, flying little beast that's so captivating, and you're just staring at it, and then it rams its pointy little asshole into your cheek and suddenly your tiny little world is nothing but pain. A creature my daughter only knew from cute and cuddly cartoon characters on television had basically just stabbed her in the face. The world is a vast expanse of betrayal and sadness when you're a baby because no one takes the time to explain to babies that almost everything in the world that's awesome can and will probably try and kill you. That said, she only cried for like three minutes after being stung in the face by a bee, which means she's so much tougher than I am. Because if I got stung by a bee on Saturday, I would be crying right now. Whenever you're hearing this, I would still just be in tears. It would take literally one bee sting at the age of 32, and I would just become a permanent Kardashian. Just tears and sadness everywhere. Hey, thanks for coming in the studio and watching. My name is Dolby. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. If there's anything you want to see, you can leave a comment down below. I'll read them. That's the crazy thing. I know how to read. It's surprising to me as well, but I'll do it.